We're going back in time to 2021, to go back in time to 2017, to go back in time to 2005, to punch ourselves in the face so we remember everything that happens in Tokyo Revengers Season 1. Just in time for Season 2, we always know that time travel's a little tricksy, so uh, we're going to revisit Tokyo Revengers Season 1, the rise of the Tokyo Manji game with Takamichi, Draken, Mikey, and the rest of the gang. So strap in. Strap in. This is everything you need to know to get up to speed on Tokyo Revengers. We have a lot of opinions about Tokyo Revengers. Yes, 100%. Which we'll get into as we're going through the the recap here, mm -hmm. but I am excited to see what happens. Yeah, I am. it's a great story. Uh, I try to not read ahead on the oh, wiki yeah. no. uh, because there's a couple more arcs still uh, in the manga that haven't been covered yet. Uh, we open with a sad life of Takamichi Hanagaki learning that his middle school girlfriend Hinata Tachibana and her brother have died. He slogs through his sad life, remembering he peaked in middle school. After being reprimanded by his neighbor, fired from his job, and bullied by some teens, he's pushed onto the railroad tracks, which suddenly isekais him to 12 years prior and his middle school self. As a middle school delinquent trying to join the local Tomon gang, or Tokyo Manji gang, he and his friends partake in fights, mischief, and bonding. He incidentally meets Naoto, Hinata's younger brother, and upon telling him to remember the date of his future death, shakes his hand and then is transported back to 2017. This creates a time paradox, as Naoto, now alive in 2017, has saved Takamichi from Takamichi, Takamichi, from the train incident and is working as a police officer trying to solve the case of his sister's death in connection to the new Tomon gang. The two make a plan to save Hinata by making sure the two current leaders of Tomon, Manjaro Sano and Teta Kisaki, never meet. Mm. It's nice because they have 12 years to accomplish this. Yeah. Which is a long time. But it all seems to happen all within just 12 years ago and like the few months that they're right. there. Yeah. So. Well, I at this point, because like if you think of like the summertime renderings, mm -hmm. there's usually a limit on the amount of times you could go right, back or right. on the time travel, but we haven't quite gotten that yet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You talk about the, uh, it creates a paradox. Yes. It does create a temporal paradox. Mm -hmm. I'm not like super knowledgeable about time travel because I've never done it before, but there's a thing called the grandfather paradox. Right. Do you know it? Yes that if you go back in time to like kill your grandpa, you can't be born so you can't go back in time kind right. of thing. Right, basically, yeah. yeah. It's also known as the consistency paradox. Mm -hmm. Occurs when the past is changed in any way that creates a contradiction. The common example of what you just said is traveling to the past and intervening with the conception of one's ancestors, right. thus affecting the conception of yourself, thus the time traveler would have never been born mm -hmm. and would not have been able to impact mm -hmm. the, uh, the past. Takamichi gets hit by the train and that's what seems like triggers the time travel, right, him right. dying. So he goes back and then he talks to Naoto, he changes the past. Mm -hmm. And then in the future, he gets saved by Naoto on the train. So the right. train incident could never have killed him, which triggered the time travel. Right, so, so he wouldn't have gone back in time. He wouldn't have gone back in time, exactly. Right. But, okay, but it makes sense if multiple timelines and multiple universes were being created. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. After Takamichi goes into the past, does some things tinkering in the past, and then he goes into the future. It seems like maybe his consciousness and powers get transferred over to a different, the different timeline right. that's now changed. And so that would make sense. Right. So like in the original timeline, he's still dead. Nato's dead. Right. Hinata's Everybody's dead. dead. <laughs> yeah. Um, God, so wait, he's just creating all these horrible timelines where everybody dies in different ways. Well, so talking about summertime rendering again, because we just watched it, it was mm -hmm. really amazing. The way the explanation pay had the power, the observer's power. Right. So whatever universe he was observing that's what became reality right. and so then he has he keeps dying over and over and over again mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. essentially erases the timeline right. because it's not the reality he's perceiving right. but like you said in this one there's just a bunch of sh timelines mm -hmm. that continue on but we're just not following them we're just following takamichi's like consciousness. consciousness yeah that's trying to save everybody yeah. so these other sh timelines are still just having a bad day <laughs> yeah so i guess in that sense if it is the multiple timelines, mm -hmm. universes, it hasn't quite been explained. Right. But it does seem like. Yeah. I wonder if season two will give us more information I on know, it. I know. I would like that. Or if it's just that, like, yeah. hey, he can time travel by like, shaking the sand. Accept the rules. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I like it better when it's explained more, right. but that's, I don't know if it will be. Yeah. Takamichi goes back to 2005 in the middle of a fight run by Tomon's Masataka Kiyomizu, aka Kiyomasa. 
Realizing that nothing will change in his sad, sad future if he doesn't change anything in his past, he takes it upon himself to hold steadfast in his resolve and not back down. He even chooses to fight Kiyomasa himself, losing, but gaining the attention of Tomon's leader, Manjiro Sano, aka Mikey. Mikey declares Takamichi his new friend, much to the shock of everyone, and Takamichi returns to 2017. He finds out that in standing up for himself, he prevented his friend Akun from stabbing someone and landing in jail. Akun is now a club owner under the thumb of Kisaki and the Tomon gang. He reveals that he was the one who pushed Takamichi on the train tracks, Draken has died, and Mikey is MIA. Then he asks Takamichi to save him and everyone else, then proceeds to yeet himself off the roof of the club. Uh, okay. That was a shocking episode. I Before we get to that part, the part where he, Takamichi, holds Nato's hand on the roof of the building with the fireworks <laughs> will never not be funny. Yes, uh, definitely top 10 fireworks scenes <laughs> yeah, of all yeah. anime. Uh, it was funny last time we mm -hmm. saw it. It was funny just as funny mm -hmm. this time we saw it. And just how shocked Naoto is. I think we kept saying this every time we were like, he would meet Naoto to go back to the future. Yeah. He's like, hey, so is your brother around? I just want to touch him real quick. <laughs> yeah. like, <laughs> not, he's like, come here, Naoto. Yeah. It's like, like man, what? you really like handshakes, huh? Yeah. Uh, but the, the, the scene with Akun jumping off the roof oh shocked me. I was more yeah. nervous when he went into the club yeah. and Akun's just like, hey, that guy's a cop, isn't he? He's like, oh, what? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, but then he just chucks his bones off the roof and is just like, hey, everything's bad. I know you're a time traveler, so can you help? It was that moment where things get like, oh, they get real. real because you start Tokyo Revengers and Takamichi is just trying to save like a woman that's already dead right. by the time we've started it. So right. it's kind of like no harm, no foul. If he mm -hmm. doesn't do it, it just ends up the same way. But then a ton of people just start putting their lives in uh, Takamichi's yeah. hands. Like, and even it's just like, yeah. yeah, it is just like, oh God, wow, now this is, now he has to save like right. 10 people yeah. at this point. Takamichi learns when Draken dies and learns that the incident is caused by a dispute with the Mobius gang which was set on purpose to incite division in Tomon. He then goes back to 2005 to prevent all that. He kind of succeeds as he sees firsthand the bond between Draken and Mikey, gets beat up more, prevents Draken and Mikey from splitting up, and even grows his relationship with the gang and Hinata. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, at this point, when he goes back into the past, mm -hmm. I think he wakes up and he's like under uh, Draken's like girlfriend right. or whatever, <laughs> and then he runs into Hinata, mm -hmm. and <laughs> that's like, oh, I hope he, Hinata never finds out, and she's just standing behind Say him. Hello. Hinata never finds out what. <laughs> <laughs> But then he just says, like, wow, you seem, like, mature, yeah. uh, Takamichi now. And I'm like, bro, she fucking knows. Right. Just tell her about the time travel. I don't know why he doesn't. I don't know either. the brother's like, oh, don't tell her because she's going to think you're a weirdo and leave you. I'm like, she's crazy about you. So if you tell her what's going smart. on. she's smart. Yeah. And, yeah. and she literally says it, like, oh, you act like two different people. It's right. like, oh, well, actually, like, since you say that. She should be the main character, just saying. I also have uh, written down, you're really cool if you have sin and punishment tattooed on your hands. Yeah. Hanma. And the one little dangly earring and the screechy voice, definitely. And the spiky 20, <gasps> oh, what's his 2001 voice? here. Me and Zoma. <laughs> Yeah, I think they should. The same, so the same voice actor. <laughs> the night of Draken's death comes and Takamichi is as useless as ever. During a fight between Tomon members that have teamed up with the Mobius gang, I almost said Morbius gang, uh, Draken gets stabbed. He's saved by Takamichi, choking out his assailant. Tomon defeats the Mobius gang, but not before their leader, Hanma, says, whatever, get ready for the Valhalla no, arc. Do it in the same. <laughs> hey, go get your whatever, get ready for the Valhalla arc, everybody. <laughs> Uh, and then he uh, and then he dips out. Takamichi is hailed as a legend, gives a necklace to Hinata, and then goes back to 2017. After Takamichi goes back into the past, he's back at his old job, Akun is a hairdresser, and Naoto is alive saying they saved Hinata. The mission was a success. However, on the night Takamichi reconnects with Hinata in 2017, he learns he broke up with her in the new past. As they're hanging out, he runs into Hanma in a bathroom and Akun throws a car at Hinata, killing her again. Takamichi survived because he wasn't in the car. So it's back to the past to fix everything and Takamichi declares the only way to do so is to become the leader of the Tokyo Manji gang. <laughs> Without an very loud laugh at that one. Like, oh, yeah. you uh, want to do that? Yeah, but it, yeah. it is funny because that's everybody's reaction to that right. was our reaction right. of just like, 
everyone is just as shocked and thinks <laughs> you want to what? Dumb for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but poor Hinata oh just can't catch a break. Oh my god, yeah. That was a uh, uh, gruesome. Yeah. You can get a feeling of like, oh yeah, there's obviously more to this because right. Hinata didn't just happen to be in the stall that got crashed. She right. was like deliberately killed each mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. And you kind of wonder like, why? Why? So that may be wondering, does Kisaki know about Takamichi's power? Mm -hmm. He says at the end, spoiler, that like, oh, Takamichi, you're the hero. Like, does he know about it and his connection to Hinata and all that? Like, right. why? Why them specifically? Why her specifically? Because at that point, like, Takamichi hasn't been, like, too involved in, like, Toman to right. be, like, a notable character, right. from, you know, of Kisaki. Mm -hmm. But I also am thinking, like, the fact that we haven't gotten much of Kisaki mm -hmm. in general, mm -hmm. like, he's just been, like, a character they like flash on the screen every right. once in a while. Maybe there's more to him yeah. than like, is he a time traveler? Does he know to ski retain these right. memories right. of, you know? I do think that there's something more to that. But I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. After Hinata's funeral, Takamichi and Naoto find out that Draken is in prison and that he regrets not killing Kisaki when he had the chance. Takamichi goes back in time yet again as Mikey holds a ceremony to declare the new third division captain is none other than Kisaki himself, the former Mobius gang member and future head of Toman. Takamichi loses it and punches Kisaki, then is in turn punched by Baji, the first division captain and founding member of Toman, at which point Baji says he's leaving Toman for Valhalla. Takamichi pleads with Mikey to kick Kisaki out of Toman and he agrees to do so if Takamichi can get Baji back from Valhalla. We meet Kazutora, a former member and founder of Toman now with Valhalla, hell-bent on killing Mikey. He and Baji join forces within Valhalla to do so, and along with former Mobius member Hanma, declare a fight with Toman. We learn about the founding group behind Toman, Mikey, Draken, Kazutora, Baji, Mitsuya, and Pachin. At one point, Baji and Kazutora attempt to steal a motorcycle for Mikey's birthday and only succeed in murdering Mikey's brother instead. This is when Kazutora, unable to face what he did, blames Mikey and goes to jail for the murder. This is what starts his hatred for Mikey and his defection to Valhalla. Dude's just broken. He just got a broken brain. The scene where they kill Mikey's brother, mm -hmm. my heart sank. Yeah. I was like, oh my god. Yeah. Shock. Because we hear at the beginning of the series, like, oh yeah, I had an older brother, but he died. And now we see how and why and who did it. J just horrible. Horrifying. Yeah. Such bad luck yeah. on everybody's part. Hey, this is a bike that I know he's gonna love. You know why he's gonna love it? Because his brother <laughs> was building I it. No, for him. Oh my god. It was just heartbreaking. Back in 2017, Draken tells Takamichi that Kazutora kills Baji during Valhalla Toman fight, leading Mikey to kill Kazutora. This meant Toman got absorbed into Valhalla and thus began the violent path for the new Toman group with Mikey and Kisaki at its helm. Takamichi returns with this knowledge and the fight begins. During the battle, Mikey fights Kazutora, Draken fights Hanma, Kazutora stabs Baji, Draken fights everybody, Kisaki <laughs> magically appears to save Mikey, Baji tells only Takamichi and Chifuyu that Kisaki is evil, Takamichi does literally nothing, and finally Mikey stops trying to kill Kazutora. Baji still dies and Kazutora goes to jail, but Toman wins the battle. Okay, a lot, a lot there. Mm -hmm. I thought... There is, okay, I have a lot of feelings about Takamichi <laughs> during this fight. Yes. My first thing that I wrote down was like, okay, yes, that is one way Takamichi can help the situation mm -hmm. is that he is so pathetic. No one wants to be as pathetic as him, so right. they all rally to start fighting. Right, they're him. all empowered by how much he sucks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that whole situation, I was like, yeah, that he actually helped the situation. Yeah. I think that makes sense. But like, Great. not on purpose no. how he think he was doing it. No. <laughs> but after that, he fucking sucks. He doesn't do anything. He has time travel on right. his side mm -hmm. and he does nothing. Like right. he he's just standing there crying the entire time. Yeah. When Mikey is he's getting beat up mm -hmm. and Baji gets stabbed, he he's just fucking crying just the entire standing time. Standing there saying, "I can't do anything. There's nothing I can do." I just, I, I can't do anything. What am I supposed to do? And he's just, he's just standing there. You can do literally anything. I know a lot of people have a lot of very heated opinions about Takemichi mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and him as a main character. Mm -hmm. If anybody else in this show was the main character, mm -hmm. I would like it so much better. Correct. Than, like, I love all the rest of the characters. Mm -hmm. I don't like Takemichi. Correct. I don't hate him all the time. I know you don't like him at all. I don't like him at all. Yeah. No, I think he's 
useless, and I think he causes more problems than he fixes. It was only during the Valhalla fight. Other than that, I was like, okay, he, I get, I can see why people like him as a main. But character. I mean, even during the 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 part two Mobius fight in the parking lot, he had one job. Keep track of Draken, make sure he doesn't get stabbed. He's just wandering around the entire time. I think he's an idiot. He's an idiot. He's an idiot, but yeah. that's most of the population in general. If you think he's acting differently okay. than any Joe Schmo would, like, but, no. But, I mean, like, I don't think he's a relatable character. I'm not saying that I'm oh, smart. Oh, okay. I just can't relate to how dumb he actually I, is. I can't either, but I don't think that necessarily makes him a bad main character. He is the epitome of task failed successfully. He's succeeding by accident. He's succeeding is, by accident, yeah. yeah. One last thing before we talk about the ending, the Baji Chifuyu mm -hmm. backstory, mm -hmm. so cute. So sweet. So, Baji was just uh, trying to like graduate. <laughs> like my mom's gonna get mad at me if I don't, if I get held back again. Like <laughs> that's the true Tokyo Revengers. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I want that story. Yeah, if Chifuyu was a main character, mm -hmm. yeah. If Chifuyu had time travel abilities, Later, Mitsuyu gives Takamichi his own Toman uniform and is instated as a formal member. At the ceremony, Mikey brings out Kisaki and Hanma, declaring Valhalla is absorbed into Toman, with Hanma being the new 6th Division captain, Kisaki as the saver of Toman, and Takamichi is nominated as the new 1st Division captain. Which again, I laughed out loud. I'm like, yeah. the what? Excuse he me? accidentally falling into things. Obviously, Chifuyu and Takamichi grew close. Mm -hmm. He knows Takamichi wants to be the leader of Toman, and like, Chifuyu's like, F it, yeah, I'll try yeah. to help sure. you. Chifuyu literally put him into the captain position, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's just so funny. Thinking everything is great now, Takamichi goes back to 2017, only to find himself as a high-level executive in the new Toman group. Mikey and Mitsuya are MIA, Draken was executed, and now is nowhere to be found. Takamichi learns that Kisaki is still the head of Toman group in Mikey's absence and that he and Chifuyu are thought to be traitors within the group. Kisaki tortures and kills Chifuyu into confessing and then prepares to shoot Takamichi and that's where season one leaves us with a massive cliffhanger. Yeah, I am excited to see where that goes. Yeah. How season two works itself out. It just He just gets shot and that's it. Season two starts up like right now, so watch with us. Uh, let us know your thoughts about Takamichi. Yeah, let uh, us know. Oh <laughs> if you're gosh. in a gang, leave a like on this video. If you want to join a gang, join the Let's Watch Some Anime Gang and subscribe. And we will see you in the next video. Till next time, goodbye. <laughs>